Welcome. It's critical to understand the distinction between identity and similarity while discussing sequence alignment. The placement of two or more things in a particular sequence is referred to as a sequence. In biology, sequences are made up of amino acids for proteins and nucleotides for DNA and RNA. The most important procedure is the alignment of a biological sequence. Finding the similarities and differences between two sequences is the main goal of this. That could be the result of structural and functional changes or evolution. The precise number of nucleotides or amino acids is known as the sequence identity. That perfectly match another biological sequence. Take a look at the illustration. The two sequences are as follows. How do we now calculate sequence identity? First, determine the total number of matches. In this instance, there are five matches. Find the sequence with the shortest length next. Simply count the number of nucleotides in sequence 1 and sequence 2. Sequence 1 has seven nucleotides, while sequence 2 only has five. Consequently, choose the shorter length of five, which is the identity should then be calculated using the straightforward formula below. This time, it is 100%. Here are some things to keep in mind. A gap is not counted. It won't be counted if there is a gap in the sequence. The shorter of the two sequences is always used to measure identity. When determining the identity between two sequences, these two details are crucial. What is a sequence similarity? In order to identify the smaller set of edit operations, two sequences are compared and transformed to produce sequence similarity. Here are two sequences as an illustration of how to compare them. The placement of these sequences must ensure that the minimum amount of modifications to the remaining nucleotides are made. Prior to computing sequence similarity, Pairwise sequence alignment should be used to obtain the gaps and mismatches in the sequences. After that, count the number of similar sequences while excluding the gaps.